and another warm welcome to you from Dave Lane from Dutch Tents UK. Today we are looking at a very rare Baco 3400. As you can see it is a beautiful single pole pyramid tent. Very quickly, very briefly, um, <clears throat> Baco, uh, a, a Dutch tent maker, they these days specialise in making some of the best and most expensive Dutch tunnel tents. You can pay up to €2,000 for some of their range. Um, they are very, very impressive bits of kit. They've been um, making tents for quite some time now. Back in the um, 1990s and early 2000s, they made a series of predominantly two-pole pyramid tents. If anyone has ever seen the Cabanon Martinique or Mont Blanc, the big sort of like a big block of um, door wedge. Uh, they were modelled on the uh, the backhoes, um, but the 3400 was a single pole pyramid tent. They're made from 300 gram tenkate canvas, um, and they are lovely. What's interesting about this tent is it's brand new. Um, it has been pitched once from the previous owners who bought it in the early 2000s. Uh, they pitched it once in their back garden to test it. They put it away and they never went camping again, I believe. In fact, they split up very shortly afterwards. Um, so, <clears throat> this is a brand new tent. I've been pitching it very slowly today. Um, and I want to take you inside to start with and have a look. So typically, backhoes will have an inner curtain. Like the wards, these zip in. So there is one of the bedrooms. Lovely stripy curtain. And again at the front. However, with this tent, we also have an inner tent. In fact, we have two inner tents. I've got one in just for the showcase the video. These are stunning. These are a, a real thick uh, poly cotton. I think these would probably have a bit of thermal value. Unusually, the tent has a sewn in ground sheet, but also the inner tent has a ground sheet as well. Here we have a curtain for the window there. Bit of privacy if you want it. Outside, we have a lovely porch area with a nice big deep side wing to give us lots of cover. This will zip to either side of the tent. Backos are real storm tents. They're very aerodynamic. You can see that, that roof just slopes straight the way down. So whilst we are up to 2.3 at the king pole and around 180 on the door, the front porch again drops down to probably around the 170. So you have to stoop a little bit to go in, but it's worthwhile. <clears throat> the tent is of course absolutely pristine. And I think they are a very, very handsome tent. They are 3.4 meters wide and around 3.6 meters deep. So they're actually quite a long tent. They're particularly attractive, I think. You will kind of have to make your mind up whether you like the light green. I think it makes a really refreshing change, particularly against the gray, the very light greeny gray. I think it's absolutely lovely. I really, really like Baco 340s. A few years ago, uh, when I was down here at the Keystone Youth Centre Garden with another 340, we had a major thunder and lightning storm and I was running in and out of there, getting my camera all frosted up um, and just kind of showcasing how good and waterproof canvas tents can be. This one being new, let's pour some water on. I think I've got a pretty good idea what will happen when I do. <clears throat> I think it'll just bead right off again. Oh yeah, not even, not even sticking on, it's just running off. Like it's there. Uh, a few little droplets just sat on the canvas. Completely waterproof and it will be for years. Now, one thing I do want to point out to you, I don't know what this is about. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There is a, I don't know, a, 
a misting on the canvas there. Can't be bleaching because it hasn't been out in the sun long enough to bleach. So I'm not sure what it is. I wonder if somehow this was a, a factory second, if something went wrong in the dyeing process. Gain inside, yeah, you can definitely see it on the camera now. Ironically, um, it comes out brighter on the camera than it does in, in real life. I don't know what it is. It's just a little, probably a little bit of failure in the dyeing process, as I said. It has no impact on the tent and is really not that noticeable. It took me some time to notice it. Okay, so we have our big single king pole. Then we have a door frame system here. Those of you who own Rebutas or Dewitts, you will recognise this system. And again, we've got another frame on the outside. These are fully adjustable. Um, I'll be honest with you, I think they're a little bit more fiddly than the Rebuta ones. The fact that we've got, you know, a slider there, there's, a, there's another screw slider there, and there's one there to keep getting it adjusting. It's not that helpful. Um, but again, uh, with any pyramid tent, if you don't like the frame system, um, just putting up right poles in there is really not a problem. However, the reason they do this, as you can see, there are no poles in the doorway. <clears throat> so you have an unfettered in and out of the tent. Okay, I'm just going to drop the doors now and we get a good look at the front of the tent. And with the front door zipped up, we can see we have a large window. If we unzip that, we have a gauze for ventilation. Lots of little toggles everywhere for tying windows and things up. We have an inner curtain for this window, so we can shut it all down if we want. So let's put that curtain in. And you can see with the curtain in place, you've got full privacy. Please note that there is a central door bar that goes in there that you attach the curtains to. But once in here, with the door down, oh, it's lovely in here. If only you could smell, if only I could capture the smell on, on video. This is such a brand new tent, really does smell beautiful. Um, it's so cool um, and tranquil in here. It's really quite luxurious. Absolutely lovely. I've got to start using other words in my videos than absolutely lovely all the time. But if you want it to be really light, then... Tie the window up. And suddenly... Oh! Tent with a view. So even in the rain you can sit in here and look out. It becomes very, very light. Take the front one off, it'll be even lighter. So at 3.4 meters wide, these, this is a good family tent, will very comfortably sleep four or indeed even five. Um, I think four with the inner tents in, obviously they take up a little bit of room, but if you take them out and just use the divider curtains, you'll get five in there, no problem, comfortably, because of its width. And when the gales come, this is a place you want to be. These are really, really strong tents. Typical Dutch style. Heavy, sewn in ground sheet. Just the same sort of material you find on Dewards and Randstad's. Big, thick PVC, big zips. Deep skirts on the outside, keeping the rain away. Very aerodynamic. Probably, probably amongst the most aerodynamic of all the pyramid tents, right up there with the albatross and the the the, uh, the lapella, the Dward tents. Right, like I said, this is brand new. It has never been used. If you buy this, you'll be the first people to sleep in it. 
if you take care of it, if you have young kids, then you will pass it on to them and they will be passing it on to their kids. It really will last decades. 25, 30 years of good regular use, no problem. Uh, this tent is going to be available uh, for £575, which I can assure you is massively cheaper than when it was first bought. And you will not buy a brand new pyramid tent of this quality for that price. You'd be pushed to buy a brand new pyramid tent of any quality at that price. But certainly uh, these really are superbly built, superb, very, very strong, very durable. I would ask a little bit more, but I suspect that this is going to appeal to a certain buyer. I think some people are going to be put off by the green, they're not going to like it. I think other people are going to like it for being something different. You really will not see many of these in the UK at all. In fact, they're rare as hen's teeth in the Netherlands, let alone here. I've only ever had two um, which have been sold and I've never seen anybody else selling any either. So, grab yourself an absolute bargain. Take this to France, wherever you want to go, and enjoy the belting thunderstorms that you might encounter. <laughs> safe that you're not, you, you and your family are going to be safe and dry. Okay, £575 is an absolute steal. So, um, get in touch. Thank you very much.